Welcome to the Faith Lutheran Church Sermon for Sunday, April 12, 2015. Today, guest pastor Dave Bladel brings us a message entitled, Breathing Space, based on Acts chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. Let's listen in. A remarkable story has been told about the rescue of a man in a submerged vehicle. His car had gone off the road and into the water and gradually sank. As the vehicle settled down, water started to fill the cabin of the car until there was just a small air pocket along the roof of the car. And when rescue workers finally pulled the man out of the car, he was barely conscious. He had managed to use up every ounce of oxygen in that little breathing space in the top of the car. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is like that breathing space for you and for me. It is a breathing space when we otherwise would go under. And there's plenty of breathing space in the resurrection. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You have breathing space. Your breathing space is filled with grace, with mercy, and with peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Our text for this second Sunday of Easter is from the chapter just prior to that second lesson that we heard this morning from Acts chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, is preaching boldly in the temple in Jerusalem. This was not very long after the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Just after that Holy Spirit infusion that the disciples had received. In these words, when Peter's preaching there in Jerusalem, he's apparently speaking to many of the people that were in that crowd demanding Jesus' crucifixion. You killed, you killed the author of life. Peter says to them. But God raised him from the dead. I know this because we are witnesses of this. And then Peter tells them and us about that breathing space. Turn to God, he says, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send you the Christ, who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. And this is our text for this service. Turn to God that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. There is our breathing space right here in this beautiful imagery, times of refreshing. This is expressed with just one word in the original Greek language, anasphyxis. Say it with me, anasphyxis, anasphyxis. See, you know Greek. <laughs> it means literally, anasphyxis, up and spirit. Up and spirit. Times of refreshing 
Therefore, are times when one's spirit is lifted up. Lift up your hearts, we say, as we prepare for the Holy Communion. We lift them up to the Lord, we respond boldly, already breathing easier. Another lexicon definition of Peter's choice of words here, times of refreshing or anus fixus, spirit lifted. Another word is space to breathe. It's kind of like getting your head up there above the water so that you have air, breathing space. Yes. Ah. Ah, times of refreshing. I know about that because when I was a wee little lad, about five or six years old, I was getting swimming lessons, and and uh, we always we had a very large sand pit. That was our city swimming area, and after my swimming lessons, I went out to the end of the pier where all the big kids would jump in the water or, or dive off, and there was a lifeguard stand there at the end of the pier. And so I, oh, I'm getting swimming lessons, so I'm going to be a big kid, right? And I jump in the water, except when I found, when I got in the water, I kept going down, because it was deeper there than it was back in where we had our swimming lessons. And I kept going down underwater until my feet hit the bottom, and I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> and I pushed up until I got my head above the water, got some air inside, and down I went again. <laughs> and so I, each time I'd jump up off the bottom and get my head above water and gasp for air until the lifeguard jumped down <laughs> and grabbed a hold of me and pulled me in closer to the shore where my feet would touch the bottom and my head would be above water. Breathing space. Ah. Turn to God, Peter reminds us in his Easter sermon. Turn to God. That times of refreshing. Breathing space. Spirit lifting breathing space may come to you. From the presence of God. The presence of the Lord. Those frightened disciples that we heard about in the gospel today, they must have felt like they had used up just about all of their breathing space. On that night, that night, the third day after the crucifixion of Jesus, that very frightening night, after the shocking execution of their Lord, on the cross, now, just the third day, came even more breathtaking news. Reports of a possible resurrection. There were stories, stories about a missing body, stories about mysterious angels and a message. He's not here. He has risen. Stories that he was going home to Galilee and that they should follow him there. Stories even of an actual sighting in the cemetery. Each one of these stories took their breath away, no doubt, in fear, in confusion, in wonder. And huddled together behind locked doors in a small apartment. They just knew that the authorities would be out investigating these reports. And perhaps even the mob which had demanded Jesus' execution, his death on the cross, that perhaps they would also be coming after them. <gasps> air. Air. And just then, not the mob, not the authorities, but Jesus himself came into the room. And he gave them some breathing space. 
peace. Ah, peace be with you. They saw those nail wounds of the cross in his hands and that spear wound in the side. And from that dead body, now living, they received the breath of life as Jesus breathed on them and said, peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. As God first breathed into those mud-molded shapes, giving them life, now Jesus, God with us, breathes on his disciples and on us, opening up our constricted hearts, opening up our frightened minds, opening up trembling mouths, and bringing times of refreshing. So as they, with this new breathing space, announced excitedly, we have seen the Lord, Thomas, who had not been there, held his breath. (gasps) He held his breath for a whole week until he too saw and touched and felt the breath of the Lord with a deep new breath of his own Thomas proclaimed the liberating uplifting life giving message of Easter my Lord and my God fear doubt suspicion and sin they all would close us in They all would tighten our air passages and leave us confused. But the presence of the risen Christ also brings us some space to breathe. Literally, a new life. Times of refreshing. Repent and turn to the Lord that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord and that he may send you the Christ that's what Peter later preached boldly there in Jerusalem he knew what he was talking about because it had happened to him personal experience when do you need some breathing space in your life When are things closing in on you? When are the demands of life more than you feel you can handle? When do relationships seem suffocating? When does destructive behavior start to get a hold of you and spiral you downward? When does denial say, oh, no, I don't have a problem. Everybody else does, but I don't have any problems. When does guilt start to control your life or fear? Fear of pain, fear of degenerative illness, fear of loneliness, or of economic failure, fear of anything, or perhaps everything. When does fear pull all that breath out of you? Then you, like me, need some breathing space. That's something we all need, isn't it? Turn to the Lord that times of refreshing may come to you. Even as Jesus breathed on his disciples, you and I can remember that fresh splash 
of holy baptism poured on us with the promising words, daughter of God, son of God. Even as Thomas touched the wounds of Jesus, remember the sign of the cross that was placed upon your forehead and over your heart. As Jesus said, peace be to you. Remember the greeting of peace that you have received. Handshakes and hugs from your fellow members of the body of Christ. Support surrounding you, giving you some new breathing space. And remember, remember those life-giving words of Jesus himself. My body my blood given and shed for you. Ah, may these gifts of Christ risen strengthen and preserve you in certain faith, giving you space to breathe until life everlasting. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Now there's some breathing space. Amen. For more information on Faith Lutheran Church of Moore Park, California, and for more podcast episodes like this one, visit us on the web at www.faithmoorpark.com. Music by Kevin McLeod.